Hello and welcome to White Horse Music TV! My name is Richard Badiner and I'm co-owner of this wonderful shop with my lovely wife Michelle Badiner who isn't this violin. So today I am going to be demonstrating some bows. I figured, you know, it's hard to get to shops to try bows at the moment so I'm going to try them for you. Um, so the bows that I will be trying to start with is this Coda Prodigy violin bow looks like this. It's a braided carbon fiber bow with a core inside the carbon fiber. You know often carbon fiber bows will just be a hollow tube of carbon fiber and that'll be it. But the Coda bows they use a special core inside them to help warm up the sound um, and they do sound really good and they're well balanced and that's why I'm sort of you know demonstrating them today along with the Asari fusion bow. Now, have a look at that frog and that winder. Beautiful snake wood. Okay, and so this is a, they call it a carbon filament bow. I'm not sure what's different between carbon fiber and carbon filament. May even be the same thing. All right, so. As far as, I mean, you know, the main point of doing this video is to show you what I think as far as the way they play. Um, they feel quite different. So the Asari one first, uh, this one to me feels lighter. I actually weighed them because I was like, oh, gosh, they're quite different weights, but they're pretty much exactly the same weight. They're around between sort of like 60 and 61 grams, which is normal, about medium weight for a bow. I like bows that are that weight. Some people like lighter bows, some people like heavier bows. I find heavier bows tend to sound better because um, you've got sort of more bulk getting into the string, but sometimes they're a bit hard to throw around and then lighter bows tend not to necessarily sound as good. Although maybe the ideal bow might be a little bit light, but still have the same good tonal qualities of a heavier bow. Anyway, I'll give this uh, Asari Fusion bow a go. It was feeling lighter, but they both weighed about the same. So start with, I'll just play, play some smooth bows. <laughs> Okay, so I liked the strength of that and that's one thing that I really like about carbon fiber bows. With wooden bows you can get them that, that are sort of like some are very weak and some are very strong. Uh, this one when I push down against my hand like that, the, the stick, even though it's not wound up that much, even if I push it really hard, only comes down to almost the hair. That means if I'm playing really really strongly, the stick will not push against the, the actual string because obviously you only want the hair in contact with the string. With some uh, really weak wooden bows, I find that you know even when the bow is wound up properly, if I try to play really strongly, it just sounds terrible because that stick mashes against the string. It doesn't happen with this bow, so that is good. Now I'll try a couple of other things. Uh, ricochet to start with. Okay, does that fine, that's easy. Okay, I sort of had to find the right area for the sortier on this bow, and I find it may be slightly harder than some wooden bows to do the sortier with this one. I think because it's quite a stiff bow, that makes it a little bit more difficult. It's maybe just a little bit more stiff than most wooden bows. Now I'll move on to the, the Prodigy and I'll give this a bit of a try, the smooth bows first. So to me, there is a little bit of a difference in the sound between those two. I would say the Asari sounds a little bit clearer, and this one sounds a little bit more sort of 
um, more mellow and relaxed, maybe not quite as bright necessarily as the Asahi bow. So they are, you know, they're different in sound. They're both, I felt the strength of the bow in both occasions, so I pressed really hard. Maybe it's got a tiny bit more flexibility than the Asahi one. So now I'll try the, um, the Ricochet. Completely fine. And I could absolutely do sortie eight all day and night on that. I'd probably starve because, oh no, someone could feed me food while I'm doing it, but you know, um, I think, okay. So I would say for me, the Asari was a really strong bow, probably slightly stronger and really good tracking through. And you're not going to hit the stick against the string, but then the, the Prodigy, also strong, maybe not quite as strong, but still really strong, but maybe more flexible, easier to do those sort of like bouncy, bouncy things. If you're not going to be someone who's doing bouncy, bouncy things, the Asari might be a great bow for you. If you are, I'd probably recommend the, the Coda Prodigy. Now in my next bow, in my next bow, in my next video, <laughs> which will not be a bow, well, it will, will be a bow video, I will be comparing the Prodigies to other wooden bows. So stay tuned, there'll be another bow coming, yeah, another bow, another video coming. I'm going crazy already. I'm not sure what's gonna happen in the next video, but let's give it a listen anyway.